Hello. So I had to uh, go back and refilm these. Uh, the videos I was trying to add yesterday were a little too long, um, which is why I was having problems with them uploading. So I'm going to do these in smaller parts and add those. Uh, so I, I apologize for that. Um, but the first one um, in the essential skills talks about mean, median, and mode. Uh, mean is the one we're going to focus the most on because I think that one, uh, even though it seems fairly easy, can also be difficult based on the types of questions they ask. Uh, so the first one, the first thing is the mean is the average of a set of numbers, uh, and the way you find that is you add all the values together and divide by how many numbers you have. So here's the basic example you learned in like elementary school, middle school. Uh, you're given these five numbers, five, three, seven, nine, and 11. Um, you add them all up and then you divide by how many numbers there are. So when you add those, those five numbers up, you get 35 and then 35 divided by five is seven. So your average is seven. Uh, when you're doing the average, you don't have to worry about putting them in order uh, or lining them up or anything like that. Just add them all together. One thing you do need to be uh, careful with is when you're doing this on your calculator, make sure that you add all the numbers before you divide. So what that means is like, Add them 5 plus 3 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 and then hit equals and that'll give you 35 and then you divide by 5 so that you can get 7. Or you can group these with parentheses. Um, but if you don't, if you type it in like this, 5 plus 3 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 and then you hit divide by 5, it's going to give you 26.2 which hopefully you would look at and say, that doesn't make any sense. None of my numbers were bigger than 11. How can I have an average that's 26? Um, but what your calculator did was it took uh, 11 and divided by five and then added that value, which is like 1.2 uh, to all these other numbers, all right? Um, so the reason why the mean can be confusing is because of the way the ACT asks the question. They very rarely give you something like this, where you have the five numbers and you have to add them together and find the average. They'll give you something more like this. Uh, Mike wants to have an average of 90% for his five tests. If his first four test scores are 95, 83, 88, and 92, what does he need to score on the fifth test? Uh, the way you set these things up is you set up the same way you would before, except for now we have an unknown value for our fifth test. So we have 95 plus 83 plus 88 plus 92 plus our unknown value, which is X, uh, and we're still taking five tests. So we're going to divide that by five, and we want that to equal 90. And then what we have to do is we have to solve for X. So I added those numbers together, and I got 358. So I have 358 plus x divided by 5 uh, equals 90. And then we multiply by 5 to start isolating the x. And we get 358 plus x equals 450. And you subtract 358 from both sides, and you would get x equals 92. Uh, one thing you can do, because the ACT is multiple choice, is you could take the numbers that they give you and substitute those in for x and do that same division like you had done for this first problem. Um, that might be an easier route if you're not 100% sure on how to go about setting this up. Um, but again, whenever they ask you one of these questions, uh, what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be expecting you to set up an equation like this. So you're gonna add the numbers together um, plus the unknown value. So you have to multiply by whatever the denominator is, which is how many numbers there are, uh, in order to then subtract the sum of what you've got to find out what you're missing. All right, um, I'm going to send you a couple of practice problems on this. Uh, <clears throat> but before I do that, uh, mean is probably the most basic of those, uh, or is probably the most confusing of those. The uh, median is when you um, find the middle number. The only difficult part about finding the middle number is there's two things you have to do. One, you have to put them in order. Uh, usually we say from smallest to largest, least to greatest, uh, but you can also do that from largest to smallest. It doesn't matter because they're still in order. Um, and then you have to find the middle number. If there's two middle numbers, you have to find their mean. You have to add them together and divide by two. Uh, and that will happen if there's an even number of numbers. If there's an odd number of numbers, you just count to the middle and find that middle number. Uh, the mode is the number 
uh, or data values that occur most often. It's not necessarily the largest number, but it's where you have the most numbers or any repeats. Um, so if you see any question about mode, uh, it'll be wherever you have the most repeated values. All right. Uh, so I'm going to upload this video and uh, also send you a couple of practice questions like this. Uh, take a look at those. And if you have any questions, please let me know um, and I will uh, get back with you. Thanks.